In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today we remember Rosemary and Joe Bartley. And as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us ask the Lord to prepare us by first acknowledging and confessing our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing is firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the potter's house and there he was working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord? Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes and the sons of men in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob, ho whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they call the shore, sit down, put what is good into buckets, what is bad they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out, separate the wicked from the righteous, throw them into the fiery furnace, will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from a storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. 
The Gospel of the Lord. Well, I guess we could think we're pretty good fish, wouldn't we, for just for being here this morning. We're the good fish, and so we're with the righteous, right? If we're here, we take the sacraments, listen to the Word of God, we're doing okay. And that reminds me when I was uh, first uh, in uh, deacon formation, so about 15 years ago, um, Bishop Jenke had just been bishop for four or five years at the time, and he says, uh, he said, uh, he said, now I've been bishop for a few years, I see the first classes, first groups of uh, priests and deacons that I've ordained, and now they're kind of getting into ministry kind of well, kind of over the, the shock of everything and really learning. He says, he says I see this, this transition that's very bad happening with, with some. He says, we, he says they came in very humble and open and learning, and now they've gone from righteous to self-righteous. He says, that is so easy to do. He says, for all of us, he gave us that great warning. He says, watch out, being righteous is being self-righteous. And uh, something I never forgot, he gave uh, some examples from scripture. He's talking about, he says, we, he says, we think that we can follow the, some of the standards and stuff. And he, he used uh, some things from this gospel and, and several other scripture readings. And he says, you remember that uh, we remain open, as Christ said here, that uh, we take the old and the new. You know, he's probably talking about the Old Testament, the New Testament, but also being open to the Holy Spirit working new in our lives all the time. He says, beg for the gift of the Holy Spirit to be constantly renewing you. He said one thing that really kind of struck with me. He says, he said, I never read anything about any of the saints that thought they were fully righteous. He says, he says that, uh, that brazen type of thinking will lead to your downfall. That is the devil really working within you, thinking you've already got it made. We never have it made. We always need to be open, always striving to rely on God. The uh, first reading kind of puts that pretty clear, doesn't it? That we truly keep ourselves as the clay in the potter's hands. That we're always open to God working in our lives, always begging him to constantly form us, form us into the, to the servants that he wants us to be. I, uh, Isaiah put that when we, he says, if you think you're righteous, he says, uh, those who think they're righteous are wearing polluted garments. They may think that on the outside, but inside they are purely polluted. St. Paul says we can never become righteous on our own. He says we must always be open to the Spirit working in our lives. And so we continue in our Christian journey, always being open to the Spirit, always allowing God the potter to constantly form us into his image. stand to present our prayers and petitions. We pray for the Holy Catholic Church and the holy people of God, that we may always have the humility to allow ourselves to be shaped and molded by our Heavenly Father, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our We pray that each one of us might live in preparation for the coming of God's kingdom and might give witness to others uh, to also turn their lives over to Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear we pray for people who struggle uh, during times of economic hardship. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For all of those laboring uh, to prepare our St. Thomas School and all of our Catholic schools for a new school year and for blessings upon our teachers, faculties, students, and families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, For peace throughout the world and especially among countries that uh, where tensions exist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, for all the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of the Bartley family for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear and for the protection of our religious liberties, we pray. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, 
who roam throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, hear and answer these prayers that we make in faith, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of the Father, the of the Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may be sanctified, may sanctify our present way of life, and lead us to a perpetual gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, <clears throat> and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Louis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We honor the Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.